Hello there, everyone. This is Mr. D. This is stage two of honors, the flag honors for Pathfinders. This one has to do with the parts of the flag and the pole that it sits on, which I'm going to describe in a few moments. Very simple procedure, this section, and even provided you a template that you could print out and write down the parts on it so you can give it to your director. So let's get, to, oh yes. If you have not, please mark down in the lower right-hand corner, the subscribe button. So you will be abreast of all my new changes or enhancements or new videos that I put on my YouTube. All right, let's continue on. So let's see here. I believe, yes. Let's go and share a screen. I think this is it. There we go. It looks like it's coming up. As you can see, this is our flag honor screen again, and we are going to go to number two. And you see here, number two. Number two, stage two of flags, practice and research. What parts of flags are called? How did they become agents in the world around us? I think that become agents around us will come more enhanced as they go into the next stages. But as you can see, I laid a diagram here and it shows you the pole, which looks like it's called the hoist. And it has what the length of the flag is called, which is a fly. It also tells you which one is the flag pole and what's at the top, the flag pole, the final or the staff ornament. The thing that goes around that little ball is called the truck. And you can see it on the left-hand side diagram and on the right kind of picture of what it is, showing where the truck is, showing you where the uh, hoist is. And it doesn't, oh, it doesn't mention the pole on the one to the right, but it does give you the period where our, flat, our stars are, which is called a canton. And it gives you the fly, which is the rest of the part. As you can see on the left, it kind of points it with arrows. So let's go down. I've added to this page a thing called layout template. So if we click on that, and you could print this out. And if you print this out, then you could write down like the top with the ornament and the truck and the hoist and all the other words. And uh, this would be good for you to have. So let's go back. And let's continue on down with this stage. The first one that it seems to list is called the Canton. And you can see the Canton is where the stars are sitting. Where the feature is used, the upper area of the flag by the flag staff, or a flag with a design featured in a Canton area, which is the upper left corner of the flag. The blue area with stars on the United States flags is the Canton, but there's no Canton on a Canadian flag. Well, I'm not showing you that. So I guess there's no little square there in the Canadian flag, which we will see later on. The field. What is the field? Let's see, where's the field on our flag? The flag, I do, it says here, the field is the background color of the flag. Oh, look at the left side. You see the area that's outside of the canton? That would be where our stripes, our red and white stripes are. And it says here, background of the color flag, the area between the hoist and the fly end. Okay, and you see where the fly ends is. That's the end of the flag. So from one end to the other, that area is called the field or the ground around the canton. The finale. Mm, I think that's the top. Yeah, it is. Right there where the ball is. Let's see. It says here, the staff ornament is found on a flagpole, whether on a fixed pole, such as at a school, or a pole designed to carry the flag in a parade. According to the United States Flag Code, there is no guideline regarding finos. Hmm. I guess it could be anything. Flag code is silent as to ornaments, finos for flag staff. We know if no law or regulation which restricts the use of a fino on the staff, you can use it. The ego find out is used not only by the president or the vice president and many other federal agencies, but also by many civilian organizations and private citizens. The selection of the type of final 
used is a matter of preference of individuals or organizations. Most commonly, uh, an eagle is used as a final on the American flag. So the note this final right here and right here is not required. It's an option to our flag design. Like staff, in general, when a flag is flown outdoors, it flies on a flag pole, mass, or flag staff. I would say so. I've never seen a flag flying by itself. I mean, flags need to be on something. Fly. The fly is the part of the flag that is the farthest from the flag staff. Wow. So we go up here and look. Where's the fly? Oh, the fly. So see up here on the left-hand side? It has the fly, the farthest part from the flagpole. And even on the other one, it has a fly in, which is at the end of the fly. I've never heard of a fly having an end, but this one has an end to its fly. So the fly in is the part of the flag that the flaps, flaps in the wind and sometimes becomes frail, afraid, frad. It gets torn up. You know, you've seen flags up there that are torn up all over the place. That's not good. I mean, you shouldn't have flags flying that look like they've been through a war unless they have. And it's wartime, but it's not wartime. It's peacetime. The halyard. Halyard is a rope or cable used to raise and lower the flag on a flagpole. And we've seen that. When they raise the flag and you, you salute, and then they tie the, the rope, and then when they undo the rope and they lower the flag and equip it, that's when we salute. It's a important part of the flagpole. Hoist side, the part of the flag that is nearest the flag step. Also hoist is you describe the height of the flag while flying the act of raising a flag. So let's see what we got here. What did we have? We were looking at, yeah. Hmm. That said halyard. The cable. Hoist side, the part of the flag that is nearest the flag staff. Also hoist to use to describe height. Hoist. Hoist side. Oh, I see. It's on the outer part of the flag and the hoist and everything. So it's on the outer side. Uh, you know, far take the far left picture and go beyond the hoist. And then the last one, truck. The mechanism that connects the final to the pole, sometimes incorrectly referred to as a ball style, the final mounts to the top of the stationary flagpole. So the truck is what the final attaches to. See up here? Truck, final. It attaches to it. Otherwise, there would be no decoration up here. So these are the basics of the flag. And I think that if you learn these pieces, you'll meet this section. And let's get out of this screen. Get back to me. And I think that if you uh, learn these pieces, that it meets the part of the layout of the flag. And I'm sure that in some of the coming up stages, we're going to go a little bit more in depth. I'm still learning this too, my friends. And um, I think it will, might explain some questions you may have which you probably don't. You're probably going, ah, uh, well, you know what? We'll get through this honor and then we can start a new one. We got a lot to go. So you take care. God bless you. Remember, mark, subscribe. And I look forward to you on stage three. God bless. Goodbye, Mr. D.